I am not new age. I am not old age. I am present age. Hey, guys, you know, I often am, am referred to as a new age speaker. And I wanted to, to dive into that concept because I'm not a new age speaker. I'm also not an old age speaker. I'm a present age speaker. And the reason I say that is because the old age is the dogmas of religion and ritual from thousands of years ago that people are diving into and they're they're saying they can't eat certain foods and they have to pray a certain way they have to you know nothing can be done outside of the church itself they they have all of these these rules regulations that are of the mind of man wrapped around something that is beautiful and profound like god then you have the new age movement and it's a very interesting uh, sort of dogmatic issue as well because the new age movement that we are all discussing and talking about started in, in the late 1800s to early 1900s with the Theosophical Society. And all of the things like soul contracts and, and spirit guides and all that, that came out of the Theosophical Society. And it got adopted by the New Age Society. Now, you got to remember the Theosophical Society literally tried to say that Krishnamurti was the Messiah, and he refused to do it. So they were very cult-like, like a religion themselves. Then you got into the New Age movement, and then they started saying, okay, you have to do it this way. You have to meditate a certain way. You have to be a vegetarian. You have to do... And you started having all these different thought processes, right, that are all wrapped around something more simple and beautiful like God. The reality of it is, is when you look at either one, old age dogma, new age dogma, they're all just dogma. You know, in my regression, it literally says, when you seek a path, a path will be laid before you, but until you turn the path back to yourself, you never find the doorway. This is, the simple meaning behind this quote is this. When you look outside of yourself and an external God or an external method, modality, technique, or religion... You are going to wander in that, but God is not found out there. God is found within, and then you realize without is just your creation. The New Age movement has done the same thing. They, they're now creating rules and dogmas and rituals around the simplicity and beauty of God. And people are wandering in the wilderness of New Age belief because they, they believe they're going to somehow magically find God in there. But just like in healing, it's, a, it's about the belief. You know, when you pray, believe you will receive and you shall. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can ask a mountain to move and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. It comes back to you stepping into the role of your oneness with God and your oneness with creation. God is, is the paint, the paintbrush, and the canvas, but you are the, the inspiration of what gets put on that canvas with that paint and those paintbrushes. The substance of the universe is <laughs> the syllabi of your imagination. And when you put your, your, your imagination into needing ritual, dogma, or justifications as to why your life is the way it is, and that's a huge one, soul contracts, a lot of that is just justifications about the way your life has gone or that you hope your life has gone. But the reality of it is that hoping your life is gone, you know, doing these rituals to get to heaven at the after your, your life, those are all putting your entire experience into a future that's not set. Your, your future is a giant blackboard, and your goals are written on it with chalk. And what is that? That's dust on a blackboard. That's an impermanent thing on a blackboard, on, on an empty infinity. And, and you have the ability to write on it or erase it. You have the ability to change what's on that blackboard. You have the ability to change what's in that future. But the reality of it is it only happens in the now. It only happens in the present moment. So I'm not old age because I don't believe in dogmatic rituals of, of ancient times. 
I'm not New Age because I don't believe in the the modern New Age dogmatic rituals or, or beliefs that take me away from my current self, away from my oneness with God. Everyone has this, this innate creative ability within them, and that innate creative ability within them comes from them. It comes from their oneness with the source and the realization that being one with God gives you the ability to create a loving world around you. You know, I, I told the story one time about going to Egypt and being treated just wonderfully and beautifully everywhere I went and then running into another American who was people wanted to fight him everywhere he went. I was creating love and beauty around me everywhere I went, and so that's what was shown to me. He was show, showing fear and, and vengeance and anger everywhere he went, so he got fear, vengeance, and anger everywhere he went. He was being the, the creation that he was experiencing, and it comes down to the beingness. You know, God's name is I am, not I was or I will be, you know. And the was is the past. It's, it's, those are present moment memories that are just a collection that are never changeable. And the future is just a place where you write that, that goal on that chalkboard. But none of that goal happens until you're here in the present, in the I am moment, in the moment of, of being the loving essence of God, being the person who's choosing to have a, an optimistic view of the world, choosing to see someone in fear and anxiety, and rather than reacting as a victim to their fear and anxiety, actively seeing the fear and the anxiety in them and, and letting it go, turning the other cheek, exhaling, releasing your reactive nature to it, being firmly present in this moment, representing love. So what, what do you do when you represent love? You represent God. Because God is love. And the more you can stay in the present and be love, you're creating a, a, a wake behind you of love. And people, and you're changing your past experience, right? But what else is happening is when you're loving, when I was in Egypt, those people that I was meeting had a beautiful loving experience with someone. What's, gonna, what's that going to do to the rest of the world? They're going to, like the old shampoo commercial, They'll tell two friends, and they'll tell two friends, and so on, and so on. You are creating a wake behind you. Are you creating a positive wake or a negative wake? It doesn't matter who anyone is. We're all creators of the experience. We're all in that space of, of being the oneness of God. And when, you, when we look outside of ourselves for something, we're losing that simple connection with God himself. Right? New age dogmas, old age dogmas, be present. Be in the here and now and be love. Don't want, need, hope, try, wish, can't, or how. Create. I am joyfully living a life of love. I am happily showing people around me how powerful they are. I am touching people in profound ways. These are very different creations into your experience. But no one can create into your experience except for you. No one can represent God in your life except for you. No, and God is love. So even the word God has, has connotations to it that people put on it. It's just simply the feeling of love, being that essence of God, being that, that feeling of love and expressing it into the world and letting the world see you from that space of pure love. You have the ability every day. You are empowered in the Bible, he says, ye are gods. Ye are gods. That means you are a creator. You are the one who gets to choose and express and be the living essence of God. And when you are being that living essence of God, you will be showing people love, and they will be showing you love in return. When you put love into something, it will show you love in return. When you put fear into something, it'll show you fear in return. Whatever you want to create. The question is, are you consciously creating or are you subconsciously or unconsciously creating? You know, when you f are fearing something, you don't realize you're creating fearful things. Swami Narayan said that the lion didn't need him because he was without fear. The lion gave him nothing to be fearful for because he was without fear. And it comes down to that. What are you being in your present moment? Let get, go, go of old age dogmas. Let go of new age dogmas. Be love. 
be the outcome. There's, there's no method, modality, technique, or anything you need. You're already perfect. You're already creating. And if your world is showing you a creation that's not to your liking, every moment is a moment of opportunity to change. Every moment is a moment of being able to say, not doing that anymore, I am doing this. It's a moment of you stepping into that power of creation itself because you are the creator. You are God. So am I old age? No. Am I new age? No. I am present age. I am, not I will be or I was. I hope this uh, reaches the right ears today. Uh, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.